Koreatown to me means home. My family immigrated to the Koreatown area in the 70s. My grandma was the first to immigrate from El Salvador. And then my mother immigrated to the Koreatown area when she was 16. I really felt like it was important to give back to the place where I was raised and be that beacon of hope or support for families where I grew up. So some of the biggest challenges that immigrant families face is having the knowledge or the education around the resources that exist. We realized quickly that parents not only needed to be educated, but they really needed to be given tools and resources in order to really thrive and to really have like good quality of life. Culturally, both in like Latino culture and Korean culture, the conversation usually around drugs is just say no and there is no other conversation, and yet the cultural norms shows totally different, right? The real implications of what that creates for families is something that people aren't really talking about. And so really kind of trying to address those things and having those conversations um, and increasing ultimately uh, communication skills between youth and parents is the initial goal. And then the secondary goal is to really move them towards policy change. Our work is really to instill in the kids like the importance of this work and how valuable it is and how you know everything that we do does have a, an effect for the long term, right? So the work to me is never done.